Hey guys, hashtag feel good Tuesday. How's you feeling? I feel fantastic. I'm excited. I'm just happy by the way. The fact that I know Jesus can restore anyone and make you better. Like regardless of whatever situation or what you've done in the past, it makes me feel good. So karibuni sana, it's your girl Coach Tracy. Hola everybody, today it's Tuesday. When, when is today? Yes, it's <laughs> Tuesday. I know it's Tuesday, but we are doing Tuesday. So let's stick with the Tuesday, right? Because you have to choose yourself all the time. You have to choose happiness. You have to choose, uh, you know, like your attitude, how you approach things. You have to choose happiness. You have to choose what, what else? Did I, kindness. You have to choose passion. All those things matter. And today, just make sure you make someone smile. And now our hashtag today is feel good. Tuesday, what are you feeling? like to be any on our number on our number triple one triple four triple one is the sms line and also on facebook to go pilot switch tv kenya on and insta instagram is at switch tv ke on uh, twitter for the cool kids at switch tv kenya i am nana witty good evening beautiful people how are you guys feeling this tuesday yes that's our hashtag today feel good tuesday are you feeling good and if you're not feeling good Nini, tuneza kusaidia, tuneza kuchangamsha. Let us know on our SMS lines, triple one, triple four, triple one. And also, guys, remember, if you cannot watch us on the television, you can always download our Switch TV app available on both iOS and Google Store. Yes, karibuni sana, I am Joyce Maina. Mm-hmm. Yo. Blue, blue. Ano? Yeah, I'm kofiti. Yeah. No, 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 well, kwenje kidogo. Kwenje, like, <laughs> I think in another world, I'd, oh, like, I'd love to be a sunflower. Like, if I was, For to, real, come, it's yellow. Like, if I was mm. to come back in life, and I would You'd want to be love a to be a sunflower. Because of one particular thing, yeah. Mm. When sunflowers are small, mm -hmm. they sort of mean, like sun track. They sun. They sun track like they track the sun. Zina oh, move na jua. Yeah, yeah, but when zina zina grow, ziki grow like ziki mm. reach maturity, mm. they stop mentoring. So they stop. Oh. Zina kuwa. Okay, own, no. sasa fanya kazi yako. Allah. You know, stand up for yourself. Allah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what would you like if you are a, a, a flower in another world? Mm. Which flower would you be? I don't think I'd want to be a flower. I don't come back. <laughs> as no, <myself>. choose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some flowers are nice because you know I like yellow. Yeah. You know, any flower that is yellow, that would be me. Yeah, mm -hmm. you? <laughs> as if, you know, um, what I know is there is uh, no other life I'll get, so I'll just appreciate what I am today. Like, <laughs> there's just no coming back. Once I'm dead, it's dead, it's a wrap. Uh, so judgment. people don't re anyway. re reincarnate, really? The it's not there. Yeah, that people do believe. Like, yeah. it's the same thing that different beliefs from mm. different people, different mm -hmm. religions, and all that. Yeah. But when you die, you're dead. You just wait for judgment. <laughs> okay, that's, that's I'm bad. Like, that's you're, you're, you're putting the last nail on the Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, according, according not Christian, according to the Bible. Okay. Once you're dead, mm. you're dead. So it's yeah. not hurting my words. I'm just saying what's in the Bible. Yeah. 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 But what about us, the, the African, the traditions that we had? There was reincarnation. Yeah, actually, Kiku we believed, believed in God. In, yeah, Kiku is believed in reincarnation. You come, you you go to another realm with a, with exactly everything that you had if you were a good person. That's what yeah. Egyptians did yeah. as well. They'll bury you with all your belongings just because you're going to another life. But you, you need be buried them. With, yeah, you won't be buried. No, with, in but Egypt. Have, yeah, but in Kikuyu, they believed you. You go as long as you are a good person and yeah. you had wealth in terms of children, livestock. You are you did good deeds. You go back to another realm and you have exactly everything you had that in, in real life. Yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. Well, it's unfortunate that we can't die and come back and say whether it's true <laughs> or, or not. not but you only have one life to live so choose wisely how you live it yeah. and read your bible enjoy yourself but at tuesday yes. tuesday choose how you want to live and also just remember how do you want to be remembered you know like when you think about that it's like you're working backwards mm. how you want to be remembered is how you will want to stay in this life you want to be a good person so that you can be remembered as such anyway triple one triple four triple one is the sms line and you know how we start off the show it's time for the trendiest topics of the week it's time for pop spot Oh, yeah, and I do have the first story. Now, you remember, you guys, la I think over the weekend, that's when Vera Sidika was having a baby shower. And apparently, uh, the juice is that Brown Mauser was nowhere to be seen. We don't know why he didn't uh, go for that. Was it gender reveal? Mm -hmm. Was it gender reveal? Yes, it was gender reveal. Now, among the people that attended was one, Rispa Faith. Now, guys, do you remember we talked about Rispa P Faith when she did the liposuction because, mm -hmm. you know, she wanted to lose snatch, look snatched and lose mm -hmm. some weight. And she said how eight liters of fats was taken away from her body. Now, apparently, 
during that reveal party she looked somewhat pregnant like akona tumbo kubwa kidogo and netizens wakaanza kumchokoza and you he he went she went ahead to say mwachane na yeye in fact yeye ni bibi mumuache anafaa kusaya and this is what she said on her insta story because she felt that she needed to address it because people were coming at her telling her oh kwani uko pregnant kwani liposuction kwani haikufanya kazi so this is what she said I'm a married woman and I'm meant to recreate and feel the world pregnant or not life moves on stop asking if I'm pregnant so meskia oh, netizens oh, we yeah. do have a video so yeah, we can take have a look. look okay yeah Well, and some of the netizens kuna moja anaitwa Flora Hangel anasema kwani pia wewe una expect your term is very big manzi right. mwingine akasema mluya unaenda lipo alafu unasahau unaishi karibu na kisiagi ya unga unakula unarudi kiuno round wacha uh. niambie serikali inipatie kazi and then there was this purity city i love her she said women body shaming fellow women what a shame vyakula vitam was there akisema kwani lepo sanctioner rispa ilikuwa ya, ya wapi asking for all of us right. when us we are not asking but yeah guys that's the story why why are we like this honestly like i'm not i'm not laughing okay? yeah. you guys are mean and They women mean. body shaming other women that is shameful but also i don't like every time someone adds weight do you think they are pregnant even me I thought i was pregnant where is the baby how many months has it been now do i look pregnant i feel cheeky <laughs> i feel cheeky do you think still think i'm pregnant yeah but i don't know some of these things especially people you don't know don't ask What yeah. are you Do not even ask. Don't even comment. Yeah. You know, like if it was like between friends, I'd be like, "Oh my god, are you pregnant?" That's fine. But <laughs> don't go and start asking people who don't know if they're pregnant. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I just okay, I'm laughing because it's just interesting how we are always like talking about the same thing. It's funny how you will just feel like you have an opinion on her tummy looks big, mm. so you you've already concluded what she's yeah. having. Yeah. And you know, as in it, it's like you I, I can't even explain it. Mm. It's yep. just crazy how we put our opinions in people's lives when yeah. it doesn't even matter. Mm. You get it just shows how much in your life you as a person you're very disoriented and you have deep issues that you need Nothing to deal to on yeah. to deal with instead of going online to just say whatever you're saying about people. Mm. Okay, you know I've been yeah. there I've been on the same whatever and I'm like you know sometimes I look at these comments I'm like too Mungu na fake kusaidia watu. Yeah, people who need to just be delivered the, the spirit of hatred, the spirit yeah. of it's called what jealousy, jealousy. the spirit of unaona hiyo kitu inakufanya ya kwenda Manze. online kutukanana na kuongea vibaya oh, in the name of you're making fun ama you're saying your opinion, mm. you just need deliverance. Yeah, and me na feeling you oh. Even the movie picture mm. like when you go to abuse people on Instagram the people that you don't know about ebu imagine this scenario mse anapita humjui in fact hata ni mzee kidogo mm. and then unaanza kumwambia wewe kwenda huko you, the, mm. the things you write you can't do that can't in, it in like life. on the ground yeah. anyway if if they don't say it on your face they don't mean it mm -hmm.